Nuremberg and Mathai created synthetic mRNA homopolymers by the use of a specific enzyme called polynucleotide phosphorylase. This enzyme, when added to a solution containing nucleotides, was able to create mRNA without needing a template strand. The two set up an experiment using this tool and used 20 test tubes, each one with a different amino acid radioactively labeled in them. They then added a poly-U strand of mRNA to the tubes and observed the translation of phenylalanine showing that a triplet of uracil will only ever code for one protein. They then repeated this experiment with all the different nucleotide bases and found a trend. This trend showed that a triplet of each of the nucleotides coded for a different amino acid each, with an inconclusive result for guanine triplet. And now moving to Nuremberg and Letter's experiment. Nuremberg and Letter used the information gained from random copolymer experiments that came after the homopolymer experiment to come up with a way to find the order of the triplets that coded for each amino acid. To do this, they used tRNAs that carried a specific amino acid that will base pair with a ribosome-bound mRNA through the anticodon. When these paired to each other, the entire unit becomes big enough that when passed through a nitrocellulose filter, they will stick to it whereas the unbound molecules will pass through, as demonstrated using a faucet and a filter. The filter was then able to be assayed to test for an amino acid. If one existed, the color of the filter paper would change to a color corresponding to a certain amino acid. The team ran this experiment a large number of times with a variety of known sequences of mRNA, and through that, we're able to determine what amino acids over 50 triplet mRNAs coded for.